Hey guys, Eric Neal here. I just wanted to react to this partial episode. It was actually two months ago on True Blue, but take down with Chris Hansen, third strike Scott. I kind of lightly went over this, but didn't watch the whole thing, so I thought this might be a good one to react to. If you guys are interested in me investigating this guy, let me know in the comments. Let's get into it. City, Michigan, a quaint town on a bay that leads to Lake Michigan, the home of the International Cherry Festival, a vacation paradise, and the location of my latest investigation. We're is it a vacation paradise? I mean, cherry picking is, we've got apple picking on the North Shore and like Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and we got other things, but cherry picking? I don't know. Alongside the Grand Traverse County Sheriff's Office are members of the Traverse City Police Department, Michigan State Police, as well as the ghost team from Genesee County. Leading the task force is right, Sheriff Mike Sh the task force stuff and get into the predator stuff. Tourists and outdoor adventure seekers fool you because the detectives posing as underage children. I like how they have the outdoor adventure seekers thing and then they have like one boat going by on a lake or something and it's like outdoor adventure seekers and it's like a really slow going boat just like going by <laughs> you gotta you gotta choose better stock footage have been inundated by men looking for sex with minors one of them is 60 year old scott a former ems technician from charlevoix michigan just about an hour from our location the mess always scary with guys like that too because it's like this guy wasn't out uh, selling pallets like Warren Armstrong or something. This guy is EMS, so probably around children, probably around vulnerable victims. So, you know. Messages from Scott start off by him asking the detective posing as the teen, what are the donations? And if she's affiliated with any law enforcement. The detective says no and asks if he is a cop. No is the answer. I like how people still believe that's a thing, that if you ask a cop if they're a cop, they have to say yes if they are. Like, that's not one of the... I mean, cops are probably loving that that's, like, one of the oldest things out there that people just believe, but... Now he wants a photo. The detective says she doesn't want her photos online. Scott says he won't post them, and that he likes to be careful. And again, make sure she isn't working with the cops. The decoy then says she's not law enforcement and that she's only 15 years old. Scott then reveals that... Well, it actually says on the screen, no, I'm not law enforcement, only 15, and I don't want any fucking cops, is what it specifically says. But yeah, that, that's his way of verifying. It's like, okay, I had a text conversation with this underage girl, and, uh, you know, this guy's a repeat offender. It's his third strike, uh, Scott, but he's like... Okay, well, this is me being careful. I had a text conversation, and I guess you're good. Disturbing fact that he was caught up in a Michigan State police sting a few years ago. That, he so. then asks for the address, and like again, a, for a photo. Is that like a flex to a 15-year-old girl? Hey, uh, you know, I was caught up uh, soliciting an underage minor in the past. Um, you want to fuck? Like, is that a flex? The decoy asks him what he wants. Scott says he's just looking for a good time and a nice massage from what he's now been told is a 15-year-old girl. While we wait for Scott to arrive, we learn more about his disturbing past and this previous police sting in which he was caught. In 2018, the Michigan State Police captured nearly three dozen men in a prostitution sting, and Scott was one of them. He was arrested, received probation, and a fine. But it's what happened... This is the guy that would put that on his dating profile. Hey, looking for young woman, caught soliciting young woman in the past, and I want some more, baby. Like... <laughs> Whoops. Hold on. Seven years earlier, that is truly shocking and leaves us all on edge. In 2011, an undercover federal agent downloaded child pornography that Scott had made available on the Internet. A search warrant of Scott's home and computer exposed a substantial collection of child pornography. Scott pleaded guilty in 2013 to receiving via the Internet images and videos of child pornography. Okay, so this is a guy that is... I mean, we, we look at some of these predators going after 15-year-olds, and I'm not saying at all that going after a 15-year-old compared to someone else is good, because it's not, of course, but 
this is someone that's like a real true predator or as uh oh, what's that guy's name i'm not you know i'm not a real predator sir i'm a pretend predator guy so um but this guy is like truly a predator is got the cp got the uh previous offenses he is never ever going to stop he served four and a half years in a federal prison he was released in 2022 and was then placed on the sex offender registry no, while scott does not have a history of carrying weapons we remain extremely vigilant as we monitor his movements when he enters the hotel the arrest team is ready to strike and they apprehend Scott quietly and covertly as to not alarm any neighboring guests. I wonder if they like rent out the floor or something for these, um, I mean, you know, tax dollars there, but if they rent out the whole floor because I, I don't know, I mean, that'd be pretty damn expensive. I doubt the city would authorize that, but imagine like you're just coming back from the pool with your family and you see some guy being taken down by, like, friggin', you know, all these guys with rifles and handguns and everything. Um, and they take down the Predator, and it's like, you know, you're doing a sting around. Uh, you know, one thing with Murphy, like, I, I understand uh, the thing. Why? Well, I mean, I don't understand. With Murphy, it was like, stay out of Murphy. You know, remember from the old uh, To Catch a Predator in Murphy, Texas, and they're marching around the sting house or whatever. It's like, stay out of Murphy. But it's like, you know, they're getting Predators in the area, and... Keep, I mean, people would want to stay out of Murphy, Texas after all that, so they didn't need to march around a house. But here, I, I don't know, I just feel it's a little different. And you got a hotel and you have, um, you know, people all across the nation come to different hotels for travel, family, whatever. And like I said, you're there with your kids. Maybe they have a pool or something, I don't know. Maybe some dingy little motel, but, uh, you know, it looks like a regular hotel. And you go in there and you're just like walking out with your kids and a bunch of cops are coming out like... That hotel is getting one star reviews. Like, why would you allow that going on here? Like, why would you? I mean, I understand it's important to catch predators, but you got kids here at hotels, obviously. So, like, why would you allow that? Here for a massage. I'm just here for a massage. That's all it's yours. Okay, relax. Hey, what's your name, boss? Look at me. Stop. Okay. I'm just, I'm just here for a massage. You think someone with three strikes. I mean, again, I'm, I say in all these videos, I'm glad these guys are not smart, but you think they would, like, be like, this is my name, this is my identification, I'm requesting an attorney. Done deal. Not saying anything. But again, it's good that they're not like that. Brad, you're under arrest, okay? I just, okay. All, I, you're under all, arrest. I was, all I wanted was a massage, that's okay. all I said. Alright, we good? You okay? Yeah. Alright, you're under arrest, okay? You understand that? Okay. Okay. Scott seems almost a little too comfortable in handcuffs. But all that is about to change. You might have a seat. And that's because at a dimly lit hotel room desk, Scott is going to have to answer to me. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Good. So, it's sort of my job to kind of understand what you were thinking and how you got here tonight. And uh, I guess I'd like to start by asking you where you were when you started this conversation tonight. That's a partial episode. I uh, recommend you go to True Blue. It's like $3 or something. So I, I do it every month. It's well worth it to me. Um, I don't want to review anything behind a paywall. So I'm just reviewing this but uh, or giving commentary on this. Anyway, if you want to see me investigate this guy, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one.